Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. My name is Indigo and I'm here to do your mid-August love reading. Um, I just want to um, let you guys know that if uh, you ordered a reading for me and you are not wanting to wait, um, go ahead and just re uh, request a refund and I will have no problem get that refund out to you. Um, I just got done moving and um, and then I've been dealing with all this eclipse energy on top of it. My new, you know, I'm getting downloads. So um, it's just been a lot of really overwhelming energy. So if you are not wanting to wait any longer, just please send me a uh, request for a refund. And I will refund you the full amount. Um, if you don't mind waiting, then I promise I will get to you as soon as I can. So this is for Virgo, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius just had an amazing reading and it had a lot of Virgo in it. If you're connecting with a side of Sagittarius, I suggest you check that one out. As well as your moon rising and Venus planets. Here we go. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for Virgo mid month? Mid August. Oh, in love. Let's see. The bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, starting out pretty good. Okay, I'm going to turn you guys down here so you can see what's going on. Okay. We got the Three of Wands in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, Five of Pentacles, the World, Page of Swords, Temperance, Queen of Swords. Sorry, this one's supposed to go down here. I'll turn you a little bit here. So you can see them all. Oh, I always hate that how camera angles are always backwards. Hopefully that's focusing in for you guys. And the outcome, please. I'm hoping this um, new place I have is a lot better lighting. Um, I moved not only my office but my home, so it's just been quite the quite the last couple, well, about a month now. Okay, outcome for Virgo. The Knight of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Uh oh. Bottom of the deck. The Devil. Followed up by the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. Virgos. Um. For some of you, there's somebody very toxic in your environment. Um, you are trying to ignore it, though, to keep the peace, um, even though what you want is not where you're at. For a different group of you, this is addictions, um, heavy addictions, um, trying to mask your feelings with the overindulgence of something not good for you. Um, and that could be many different things. Uh But this toxicity, it's tearing you apart. It's um, taking its taking your wind out of your sails. Um, this could be somebody that you're with or have children with Virgos. So um, you guys have the three of wands beginning out uh, your spread. You're blocking your own blessings. You're not allowing true love to come in because you are, um, you're where you're not meant to be with the eight of cups here in reverse. Uh, once you move forward and for those of you I'm talking to, uh, you know, this, you know, you're in a place where you're not meant to be, but it's easier to stay than go. Um, you're, you're dealing with a broken marriage, uh, with the four of wands. So by you staying in this broken marriage, you're blocking your own blessings. Um, you are, however, going to get out of the mid month. Um, no longer feeling like you're trapped, mentally stuck. You're no longer spinning your wheels and not going anywhere. However, you do feel like this isn't fair. Um, you feel like the other person isn't helping you out as much as they should. Um, you're also could be having financial struggles or you're fearing financial struggles. The person that you are thinking of, uh,
Okay, the person that you're thinking of is different from the person that you're with is what I'm hearing for this group of you. The person you are thinking of, they are making huge transformations in their life. They are ending cycles and moving forward. They're no longer worried about what you're doing, where you're at, who you're talking to. They're no longer stalking you on social media because they've gained inner peace. They've gained healing, inner balance, self-healing, self-respect, self-confidence. And they're no longer putting up with this. They're cutting people out of their life. Whether you make the cut or not, I'm not sure about Virgo because given by your cards on the bottom, they're all in reverse and they're tired of waiting on you to make a choice. Now, the person that you're dealing with, now remind you what who you're thinking about is not who you're dealing with. This is the person in your immediate energy. Um, this is the person you're in a commitment with. It's time to stop the cycle. Your blessings are being blocked because you keep going in the same over and over and over. Um, you guys are going to learn something, though, in this mid-month that is going to cause them to... It's going to cause um, you guys to have an awakening as far as this relationship may not be for us. Um, they They are also gaining a sense of that you're not invested in this relationship. Um, even though they do not want a divorce, they do not want to leave you. Um, in your outcome, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So everyone's just emotionally drained. Everybody is ready to go and have normalcy somewhere. Uh, with the Ten of Cups in reverse, your home, your home that was once the Four of Wands and Ten of Cups is no longer a happy home. Um, you're not emotionally satisfied. You're not emotionally content. Um, you're not even emotionally anything with each other. Very cold energy. Um, you're not finding success in this. The, and a third party's ending. This is a definite third party situation. Even though it's calling for you to move forward, to move on, you're stuck. Um, you're, you're not wanting to move on or your partner is not. I have the Eight of Cups here. So Virgo. Okay, three came out, I think, here. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're refusing to move forward. You're refusing to move on. You're stuck, for one. Um, third, three of pentacles in reverse again. Um, you feel like there, you could still make it work if you pretend hard enough, and that's not going to work, Virgo. Um, you're also scared to move forward. You're scared to walk out that door and, and not look back. Um, so you're trying to desperately grasp onto something that is not serving you, that is no longer for you. It's being Your overall outcome card is the Eight of Cups. Even though it's in reverse, it's time to move forward. This is your call of action. It's time to go. Yeah, most definitely. Um, and the other two cards that came out were the Two of Cups and the Fool. So you're wanting to take this leap of faith. You're wanting to start something new. You're you're wanting to, but you just you're fearful. You don't have the courage to step forward and and go after this soulmate energy. Where you're at, you're drained. There's no longer the emotional share of give and take. And, uh, and it's calling for you to move forward, to find your real soulmate, um, because who you're with right now is a karmic partner. Yeah. Let's see what the angels have to say for mid August. That was quick. Yeah. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So most definitely, especially with your bottom of the deck card being the devil, um, yeah, and your bottom of the angel deck codependency, for sure. Um, it's calling for you to um, love yourself first because if you did, you would not be stuck in this place that you're at. You would not be putting up with this relationship or you would not be um, fearful to move forward uh, going after what you deserve. You deserve to be loved. You just need to love yourself first. Um, choose you. You are always putting everybody else in front of you. You're always worried about making everybody else happy. It's time to be selfish. It's time to um, 
yeah, it's time to go after what you want. And when you go after what you want and you truly follow your heart and love yourself first on top of it, all your blessings will come in. And that three of wands will come in the upright and your blessings will be allowed to move in. So Virgos, I hope you enjoyed your reading. As always, I want to thank you so very much for your continued support and your amazing patience. So I will see you next time. As always, love, light, and God bless.